Hello, I'm Dave, and if you've seen me before, then you probably knew that. If you subscribe to me, then you know that I do videos about things, I review books, do acapella songs. What you might not have known, because I don't go on about it a lot on this channel, is that I'm also a comics writer, and I'm currently an excited comics writer, because it's a very short time until the launch of a new comic that me and Abby Ryder have done called The Skeleton in the Garden, and I thought I'd tell you about it today. If you don't follow me on Twitter, and you haven't bumped into me at my stall at a comic convention, you may not know that I write these comics, collectively called Imaginary Gumbo. This is Gumbo, a terrifying gleaming warrior and fearsome overlord of a vast fantasy kingdom, and he lives only to serve and obey his lord and master, eight and a half year old Charlie Hodges. Charlie isn't sure Gumbo is completely real, in fact she's fairly sure he might not be, but nevertheless they have an arrangement. She picks where in the fantasy kingdom they go, and he has to fight whatever monsters happen to be there. So far we've made these two mini-comics, which some of you have read, and I had some really nice comments about those, so thanks everyone. But now we've finished our first full-length Gumbo comic. These two were mini-comics, they're only eight pages each, but now we've done a full-length 20-page comic. I don't yet have it, so I can't hold it up and show you, that's how new it is, but what I can do is I can take you through the first few pages. The comic opens on a post-it note stuck to a giant scary throne. My lord, an urgent duty has befallen me, and so I have abandoned my post. It is a very small matter. Please try not to go on any adventures without me. Gumbo, fearsome shadow lord, and gleaming warrior of the nighttime throne. We then meet Charlie, alone for the first time. In previous comics, she's always been accompanied by Gumbo, bossing him about and enjoying the battles he gets into, specifically against a scientist with a light bulb instead of a head, and a pack of enormous guinea pigs with little sailor hats on. This time, she's unwilling to just mill about in the castle doing nothing. Well, I wasn't going to go on an adventure without you, she says, reaching for a bell cord, but it looks like I've got to, doesn't it? Before we find out what she means by this, she rings the bell and calls out, Minions! Come here, please, and bring my warm coat! Four skulls poke around the door. Boss, 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 boss. This is all skeletons say. Charlie marches across one of the gilded corridors of the castle, and skeletons gather all around her, responding to the summoning bell. I'm going out, she says, but not for an adventure. Forget any commandments from Gumbo about stopping me going on adventures. I'm overruling him. And anyway, I'm not going on one. This is for homework. Who's got my school bag? It's got my pencils and paper in. The skeletons have dutifully brought her outdoor clothes and school bag, and she's quickly heading for the door. The homework's to pick somewhere important to us and draw a map of it, she says. Mine's going to be easily the best one. Everyone else is just doing the road they live on, because nobody else in my class has their own spooky kingdom. When Gumbo gets back, tell him I've gone exploring uncharted regions and to stop panicking. In fact, someone write this down. Dear Gumbo, I've gone out on a homework adventure. No. Nope cross out adventure. I've gone out to do my homework in Skeleton on Sea. There are lots of unexplored places there, so there should be surprises lurking around every corner. No, cross that out. I'm just doing my homework. And I don't need a giant guardian knight just to explore my own kingdom. Fussing me and going, my lord, it is too dangerous. Um, I can actually look after myself, Gumbo, thank you. Wah! Anyway, nobody else who lives here needs a giant guardian knight. You never see any of the ghosts or skeletons getting pestered not to go anywhere dangerous, and it's never harmed any of them. Okay, cross all of that out. Start again. Dear Gumbo, I'm doing my homework. It doesn't matter where. If the minions say I'm exploring uncharted bits of skeleton on sea, they're lying. See you soon. Love from Charlie. Charlie, having made her way through much of the town of Skeleton on Sea, now finds herself in one of its least explored corners, and gives a little, oh wow, as she peers down at sights yet unseen by the reader. Until they read the rest of the comic, and find out about the skeleton in the garden, the squishing well, and something dramatic, which is described as having gone splorge. I want to show you more. I so badly want to show you more. There's really cool stuff in the pages that follow that, but we had a look at it, and that's where we have to cut it off if we don't want to spoil some of the surprises, because after that, well, we meet the skeleton in the garden from the title, and the thing is, you've seen skeletons already, so you'll be wondering what sets this particular skeleton apart, what's going on with the garden, and so on and so on, and well, that's the stuff we can't spoil. So, if you want to read this comic, then it will be debuting on Saturday the 15th, I believe, of November at 
Thought Bubble, which is a comic convention in Leeds, which if you like comics, you must go and see. Because it is loved by comics creators and fans, because it's, you know, unlike a lot of other comic conventions, the, the focus is on comics. There's other stuff there, but it's mainly comics, and usually the balance at comic conventions is kind of the other way around these days. If you can be in the north of England on that particular weekend, then please pop in and try and find our table. You will recognise me because I will have this face. But if not, then there's always the online option. We will, of course, post you a copy of the comic starting in the week following the comic convention where it launches. And if you want to get it all out of the way and forgotten about, and of course help us with the production cost of actually printing this thing, then you can pre-order it at our website right now if you, I don't know, click on the skeleton's face. There you go, click that. Pre-order a comic and it will be yours. And of course you can get the other two mini comics while stocks last. We don't have that many of them anymore. By the way, everyone always asks, there's no first issue, second issue, third issue. They're not to be read in any particular order. They're all completely standalone. Now, if you're wondering about the content of the two mini-comics, here's what the two mini-comics are about. In The Great Voyage of Pegleg Piggage, yeah, that last bit was a bit hasty, wasn't it? It was because I actually talked for longer on the original video, but I thought I'd just cut it down and just show you the comic. So, in The Great Voyage of Pegleg Piggage, Gumbo is fighting giant guinea pigs when he notices that Charlie doesn't appear to have her heart in the battle, and discovers that this whole adventure might be her way of working through her feelings about a real guinea pig they have at her school. And, in The Bright Idea, Gumbo is reunited with an old friend, Professor Nebulus, whose latest creation has gone bonkers and is destroying everything. We learn about Professor Nebulus's tragic origin story, about why he's got a giant light bulb instead of a head now, and then a lot of silliness happens. So there we go, Imaginary Gumbo, the new really big comic, all full colour and fancy and pretty, is coming out on the 15th and 16th of November at the Thought Bubble Convention, and subsequently available by post, wherever you happen to be by getting it from our website. You'll like it, it's drawn really well. And I've written the script for it, if that interests you as well. I think it's quite funny. I, I really want to tell you what's going on with this skeleton, but you'll just have to wait and see. So, I might see you in a few weeks, and if not, please read the comic anyway. I've made it because I think you'll like it, and so bye then! Oh, here, oh, I better not show you any spoilers. Look, here they are, and then, and then, and then the next page. No, you can't see the next page. You have to come and buy it, either from Thought Bubble or just our website. Bye.